But my friend's food truck was like by their house. 2020. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, it had, you could tune in. The baby Jesus play. Oh, gotta be at least one or, yes. There's gotta be at least one or two good beers in there. <laughs> okay, Christmas confessionals 2020. What's there to confess about 2020? Maybe we should just skip the year as a whole. I got my uh, friend here. Maybe he wants to go first. Say hi. Oh, hello there. I don't have to wear a mask because I'm an elf. <laughs> okay, he's done. So I'll answer some questions for you. What is one thing you learned in 2020? The first thing I can think of is that I saw a tiger and tiger saw a man. Cheers to Joe Exotic. What is one thing you binged in quarantine? Numerous things. Let's start with the food. I made fruit pizza and then instead of sharing it with people, I froze it and then decided to eat it every night. So definitely binged and got the COVID-19. So I'm working on Percocizing. So, woo! Oh, also binged Tiger King, the very most famous part of quarantine. Very important. And if you don't watch it, go watch. Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin killed her husband, whacked him. Can't convince me that it didn't happen. Fed him to tigers, they snacking. What's happening? Carol Baskin killed her husband, whacked him. Can't forget that it didn't happen. What's happening? All right, moving on. What is the best thing you ate and drank tonight? Well, first of all, cheese love cheese my body doesn't but i love it i'm willing to risk that you know i saw there's poopery upstairs in the bathroom so i'm i'm good in that department wine but i always love wine um food definitely the fondue which is also cheese i know also looking forward to all these desserts over here i'm gonna be bad and i'm stealing the camera look how good these look Oh, look, Dean wants to say hi now. Well, hi, Dean. Say hi. Well, hello, pretty lady. I'm a boomer, so I wear my mask down here. I forgot to cover it over my nose. Oh, it's falling off. Oops, we all float down here. Okay, goodbye. Now I'm doing accents because, you know, some of us aren't beautiful, so we got to be comedians. Mazel tov, hallelujah, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, and don't forget to put on your yarmulke, cause it's time for Hanukkah, that Adam Sandler song, hallelujah, bless up, good day. Okay, I'm just gonna wing it here, I'm just really glad we made it to 2020 the end of 2020. So one thing I learned in 2020 is there's a limit to one's ability to cut one's own hair. Just because you can pull it off on other people's hair doesn't mean you can pull it off on your own. And cutting your bangs is different than cutting this and that you could end up with Roseanne or Zana Dana hair pretty easily if you have hair like mine. Bia's walking by, I want her to leave. She needs to leave because my quarantine thing is gonna get really long because I have to have privacy while I record. Goodbye, I'm recording right now. Oh, I learned how to make my own um, sushi rolls and California rolls and I was successful. Okay. So, and that it's reminded that God is good and he'll see you through many strange occurrences. One thing you binged on in quarantine, my favorite binge, one of my favorite binges 
was Outer Banks. The Outer Banks. Paradise on Earth. Okay, so Outer Banks, the guy with the hair. And that's me. John Booker Rutledge. And just the environs, learning about the Outer Banks. The island lifestyle. On charters. And our mission this summer is to have a good time all the time. The cheeky drama. Um, and that there's another season coming and they're in like the Bahamas next. That's probably my standout bin. Netflix, Netflix, Netflix. I can't even recall. Enjoying the British Baking Show, Schitt's Creek, the Outer Banks stands out. What is the best thing you ate or drank tonight? There was a lot of good stuff, but I'm still gonna go back to the Hans Deli Liverwurst on Pumpernickel with a little daub of the red cabbage. It's like a flavor symphony of heavy Northern European foods that somehow harken back to our ancestral roots in Northern Europe. It's probably why a number of our relatives didn't have long lifespans. All right, I'm gonna sign off. Um, farewell 2020. It's been a journey. Nighty night. Hello. Hello. I, I run by the house all the time, but obviously. Like... No, that's not it. It's Pennsylvania Polka. I don't know. Yo, it's Blaze W. Clum from 2020 speaking. Hello, friends and family. It's 2020. One thing I've learned, actually I've learned quite a few things, um, to accept change, adapt to new circumstances, but also that my elders will comment on my growth, even if it's like a quarter inch, every single time I see them. Um, kind of annoying. And one thing I binged uh, this quarantine is just, you know, hanging out in the virtual world with my bros. Shout out Blaze's boys. Yeah, it's been getting me through the quarantine. Nice. Um, best thing I ate tonight. Hmm. I'm always a sucker for the like white cheese fondue, to be honest. But sparkling cider is like my favorite thing of holiday events. I never goes never get to drink it any other time. So yeah, peace. I didn't do one. I didn't bring anything else. Okay, just sit. No, that's not it. It's Pennsylvania Polka. I don't know. Okay, I'm here to answer the three questions from 2020, the true Christmas video. Hi, this is Larry Clown. Um, what is one thing you learned in 2020? Well, I learned to build a fire. I've been really bad at fires until this year. I'm pretty good at it right now, but people are afraid I'm gonna burn myself. What is one thing you binged in quarantine? Oh, a fantasy shows on Netflix like Cursed and The Witcher were my favorite. What is the best thing you ate, drank tonight? I like the fondue cheese the best. Um, tonight but it was all really good the spread was amazing tonight all right well happy 2020 to all of you and we'll see you next year bye Billy. merry christmas Hello, merry christmas yeah. <laughs> merry christmas eve man <laughs> bye <laughs> It's Dan. You know, the one thing I learned in 2020 with the COVID virus and taking care of all these sick people was how important it was for family and to do things that you might not think you've done. It really is important that to think in the future, the things that are really important is to do things with your family, go see places that you haven't really seen before and not worry about what things cost, but worry about what the cost is of not doing those things. The, the one thing 
I did during the quarantine is we watched a lot of TV shows that you would think aren't, uh, you know. Right. And hey, there's Colleen back Hi. there. Hi! You know, Merry she, Christmas! She, she, Woohoo! She's going to be doing her uh, video. Cheers! Cheers! She's going to be doing her video here in a few minutes. Yeah! Yeah, she'll be up next, I think, actually. And uh, the best thing I ate to drink tonight was, you know, I, I'm really trying to uh, watch my carbs and uh, watch what I'm eating tonight. So uh, I had, uh, I drank some scotch tonight, which is uh, zero carb and uh, uh, zero fat and all of those things. You know, I really had a great time here tonight and uh, it was really fun to come see uh, Larry and uh, all the kids and uh, spend time here with everybody on uh, Christmas Eve. And like I said, once again, it was uh, one of those things that uh, this year has really taught me that it's important to uh, do things with people you care about and worry about where you're going and what you're doing and uh, those things. And hopefully we'll have a uh, great new year. They ripped off Batman. Hey family. Merry Christmas 2020. All right. What what a what a different year, yeah, right? For sure. What did we all learn or what did I learn? Um okay, so that's a, a deep thought. To be serious, um I probably learned that hey, my family, my friends are of utmost importance, right? Being in the hospital community, you see a lot of um, quote unquote tragedy. So yeah, cheers to my family and friends. They are like the utmost number one importance. But the, one of the best things that happened to me, and this is, this is small, but I got vaccinated on December 17th. And when I got vaccinated, that was a pivotal moment for I think Dan and I, and maybe everyone I know, hey, maybe there's gonna be light at the end of the tunnel and we're gonna get through this pandemic um, finally. So that's, I think, one of the, the best things um, that happened to me in 2020. And maybe learn to be a little more patient too with um, just uh, what's going on in the world and uh, with scientists and trying to develop the vaccines. So cheers to them. What did I binge on in quarantine? Well, I'll tell you, you guys all know. My favorite binge, what is it? It's wine. But I love wine. Um, Dan and I both love wine. We love to go to the wineries. And um, I don't know, I like red wine and white wine. I like them all. So anyway, they're fantastic. So, that, so that's probably my favorite binge of 2020. But come to think of it, I think that's my favorite binge anytime, even 2019 down to 2010, down to 2000. Anyway, what's the best thing I had tonight? Merry Christmas Eve, everybody, December 24th. Um, you know, of course I have to say Cougar Gold um, because WSU is the Primo College and we all want Blaze to, of course, attend WSU and go Cougs. But Cougar Gold, number one, number two. Ryan, your beer cheese dip was amazing. So thank you, everybody. And Ricka, thanks for having us over. We always have a great time with uh, the whole Clum Clan. We love you guys. Yeah, you all are great. And I'm wishing everybody a wonderful 2021. Let's all cheers to a new year and moving forward and having some more great times together. All right, love you guys. Merry Christmas. Bye now. I mean, that's what makes Ellen's birth, right? You can see it. Hello. We are here to tell you about our favorite things. Hello, me and Bia are here to tell you our favorite things about 2020 this year. Bia, would you like to go first? No. Hello, me and Bia are here to tell you our favorite things about 2020. Well, for me, it wasn't really anything because it was kind of a mad year. The year of the unknown and disappointments. <laughs> Okay. And sadness and regrets. And sadness. Regrets? <laughs> uh, my favorite crime was getting my braces off. How silly is that? <laughs> How silly is that? <laughs> <laughs> One thing me and Bia both binged on this year was the show Gossip Girl. XO. On Netflix. XOXO. Catch us in New York later in life. That's our dreams as of now. The favorite thing that we ate tonight was Cougar Gold cheese. Thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Evil eyes. 
More like uh, <laughs> Jolly Elf. Oh, I love it. Right. Bring my neck. Work and he's not gonna make it tonight. He's really wiped out. <laughs> okay, here we are. The end of 2020. Wow. Never thought we'd make it, huh? Uh, whew, I feel like I aged like 50 years. Real talk. What did I learn? I hate wearing masks despite my affection for slasher films. I binged on a lot of sushi, although, I don't know, that's not really different than any other year. What else did I learn? Life can be really exhausting when you literally have nothing you can do. Highlights from the year? I mean, it was 2020, so. Okay, I've, I've literally sat here for, I don't know, uh, 10 minutes or so, <clears throat> uh, just trying to think of a, a, a highlight of the year. I don't know, I mean, I could, I could talk about uh, my trip to Sun Lakes or when I went to Bellingham or, um, <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, going to Chelan during the smoke storm. Uh, that, was, that was pretty crazy, but I wouldn't really call that a highlight. Um, certainly something that I'll never forget though. I, I hate to be depressing. It's hard to find a lot of highlights of the last year, uh, but um, bang energy drink. Uh, yeah, good, good stuff. Not really doing me any favors right now. I'm exhausted. I made a lot of food tonight. It's about one in the morning. <sighs> I'm really looking forward to sleeping in tomorrow. For sure. I know. It's awesome. Okay. Alright. Alright. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I feel a responsibility here to at least acknowledge the fact that uh, there, there was no Star Wars movie that came out this year. So uh, I don't really have much to say in that regard. Uh, I, I haven't watched The Mandalorian. I don't particularly care about The Mandalorian. <laughs> that being said though, I did watch Tiger King. There you go, that's, that's 2020 in a nutshell. Wear a mask, don't hug each other, and sit at home and binge a series called Tiger King. Cause I saw a tiger and a tiger saw a man. Cause I saw Tiger, now I understand I saw Tiger, Tiger saw me Okay, but really, like, I know this hasn't been the greatest video ever. It's just, it's a little hard to focus when uh, you got all three of these guys staring at you. It's pretty creepy. All right, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Uh, okay, all right, I, I came back, I couldn't resist. Uh, one last thing, word of advice for those of you that were actually at Blaze's birthday, think outside the box. Yeah, that was okay. that's her, yeah. Uh, yeah. Talk is to me. Like she wrote that. <laughs> Hi. Speaking on behalf of Luna um, for her her um, 2020 Christmas confessional. Really. Hi. This year has been really a rock star of a year for the dog kingdom because um, people have been home and the walks have been massive and constant, sometimes twice a day. In fact, it's been hard on my little paw pads. I'm in super buff shape. I have been <sighs> woo, doing couch to 5K and now couch to 10K. And I've been a therapy dog. It's just really been a pretty good dog here. Um, there's been minimal grooming because groomers shut down 
and um, uh, uh, my trauma level has been lower except for the one trip to the Normandy Park groomers where they shaved my butt too close but other than that mom hasn't taken me back and I've been shaggy and free yay 2020 for dogs and um, thank you all for loving me and dropping me tons of pizza crust this year. Ooh, special. Bye bye. I can give them a home, safe and warm. But the law wants to ban me. Can you tell me who?